after seeing all the new Fortnite Mare skins that have come out recently, did we just forget about the old ones? So in today's video, we're looking at the rarest Fortnite Mare skins that might be returning soon. Make sure to watch until the end because this list will spook you. Kicking this video off, we have Frankenstein's Monster and Frankenstein's Bride, which were both last seen in the item shop 713 days ago. These are both iconic Halloween characters and both came out back in Chapter 2 Season 8 and were also regularly returning for nightmare skins but then they just disappeared in 2022 these are both standard halloween skins that are in fortnite so hopefully we see them return this year just like the mummy which was also last seen in the item shop 713 days ago just like the last skins this skin is literally a very popular halloween character because it's literally a mummy he wears his bandages all over him and has the perfect eerie and scary vibe to it and this fits so good during four nightmares and it's also been over two years since we last saw him so maybe fortnite will decide to bring him back this year for fort nightmares because he is highly anticipated by players and everyone is waiting for him to return next up we have gold trooper which used to be a super rare skin but now regularly returns it returned pretty often earlier this year but then just stopped returning ever since may 1st if gold trooper ever comes back anytime soon it has to be for fort nightmares this month except gold trooper's pink style which was given to all the og owners of it since chapter one season one so maybe Maybe when it comes back, they'll release a style with it as well. Who knows? Just like Brainiac, which we last saw 347 days ago, and is a pretty cool looking zombified reskin of Jonesy. This skin has green skin and decaying clothes and has a pretty scary dead look to him. This is a very simple but scary skin and is perfect for four nightmares. And this was definitely one of my favorite Halloween skins when it first came out in chapter one, season six. He seems to be a regularly returning four nightmare skin because he was here last year so we can for sure assume they'll bring him back again. Another skin that usually returns for Halloween is Bunny Moon. This is one of the OG Fort Nightmare skins that came out in Chapter 1 Season 6. And unlike the traditional Fort Nightmare skins, this outfit has a playful Halloween design. She wears a bunny outfit with Christmas lights all around her. And this is a pretty fun Halloween skin to wear that isn't too scary or anything. This is definitely a fan favorite outfit because it's also kind of a sweaty skin, but also very forgotten about. So hopefully she comes back soon and we could say the same for hollow head which was also last seen 347 days ago this is one of the coolest and most unique four nightmare skins to ever release his unique scarecrow outfit with his pumpkin head with flaming blue glowing eyes just makes the skin look so awesome this skin has so many players eager to see if he returns this year because he's definitely a fan favorite another pumpkin head skin who was last seen 347 days ago is jack gordon he's rumored to come back because he's one of the og fort nightmare skins as he came out in chapter one season six this skin's basically the og john wick and pumpkins all over his suit and this is one of the best minimalistic halloween skins to ever release so let's keep an eye out for his return so let's keep an eye out for his return Another pumpkin themed skin, we have Patch Patroller, which is just one of the default skins, except he's wearing a bright orange pumpkin themed outfit, which is just hilarious. This is another simplistic Halloween skin that many players loved in the earlier Fort Nightmares events. So hopefully he'll be reappearing soon. Moving away from the pumpkins for now, next up we have Spooky Team Leader, which is just another Cuddle Team Leader reskin. So many players actually forgot about it, but it's definitely a regularly returning Fort Nightmare skin. So it's expected to return this year but skins people might actually be excited for are the dead ball skins these are zombified versions of the og soccer skins which you already know everyone loved they're super customizable and they let you change a lot of things with their designs just like the og soccer skins so i could definitely see a lot of people being excited for these to return later this month huh? just like big mouth which is kind of freaky but this skin was last seen 347 days ago which was at the end of last year's four nightmares this sinister skin has an eerie design with a huge tongue sticking out of it and its huge mouth with super sharp teeth this is an extremely spooky skin that fits perfectly with the halloween themed event baba yaga which came out in chapter 2 season 4 this is an old witch that has an eerie vibe to it this is a very weird looking skin and it's kind of scary so i don't think many players really care for it to return but it is a pretty well-known halloween character so if it does return anytime soon it will most likely be this year for four nightmares Back to the pumpkin skins, we have Patch. 
which also came out in chapter 2 season 4. This skin's pretty unique because it's not a default skin inside the pumpkin outfit. This is a similar skin to Patch Patroller, but stands out a lot more. This skin is also wearing a pumpkin instead of a themed outfit, which makes it even cooler. We will most likely see this skin return pretty soon. Punk, which is another pumpkin skin, that stands out as a cool and fearless skin that has his Halloween vibe to him. He's definitely the perfect skin for people who want a more subtle skin that isn't so flashy. It's a very simple skin as well since he's just wearing an orange and black hoodie with a really cool pumpkin head that has flaming eyes. He was last seen in the item shop 347 days ago, so let's hope he comes back soon. Next up, we have Grizabelle. This is a spooky version of the very popular Isabel skin, which has so many different outfits. A few were actually free for some of the Winterfest events. This skin has two really cool zombie styles to it. One of them being blue and pink, looking a little like the OG Gold Trooper style. And one that is green with gray hair that has a more spooky design. Next up, we have the Crypt Crashers pack. This pack came with three Crypt style skins that are all slightly different, but unique in their own way. They all have that purple hue on them and are very minimalistic skins. This pack was super affordable at 2800 V-Bucks for three skins, which is expensive, but it's a very good deal. These skins are super simple, but still give off that spooky vibe. So hopefully this pack comes back soon. Another pack is the Saint Academy Quest Pack. This pack only came out with one skin and actually costed $8 instead of V-Bucks. This is a Vampire Girl skin and is one of the few vampire skins in Fortnite. The high stakes pick Pickaxe is probably one of the coolest parts of the pack. And you also got a thousand V-Bucks for buying it. So this skin was basically free. It returned last year for four nightmares. So I'm only guessing it'll come back this year. Next up, we have Salvador. This skin was only ever in the item shop four times and was last seen 345 days ago for the last four nightmares. Maybe he didn't sell well or something because he only had two item shop appearances last year and only two the year before. He's a pretty cool skin with his purple flaming style, so hopefully he'll be reappearing in the item shop soon. Next up, we have Jack Skellington, which is the fan favorite character from the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. He was last seen 250 days ago and will either return for Halloween this year or Christmas later on this year. Just like the next skin on this list, Jack Assassin. This skin is obviously based on Jack Skeleton, but was released before him in Chapter 3 Season 4 when Jack Skellington came out in Chapter 4, Season 4. This skin was probably made before they had any of their rights to Jack Skellington. So he is still a pretty cool skin and rare, but nowhere near as rare as the next few on this list. Because next up, we have Michael Myers. This is another fan favorite skin, and it was introduced in Fort Nightmares back in Chapter 2, Season 8. This is the iconic character from the Halloween movies, and this outfit is the perfect skin for players who want the Halloween horror theme, because this skin in Fortnite perfectly resembles how scary he is in the movies. This skin is also highly anticipated and wanted by many players, which means everyone is waiting for him to return. A rare but forgotten about skin is Shayman, which was last seen in the item shop 1,778 days ago, and his last appearance was all the way back in 2019 which is just insane this is a forgotten about skin but it's also really rare and this is one of the rarest four nightmare skins that we will probably never see returning anytime soon and now for the rarest skin on this list surprisingly isn't actually a skin but i had to include it the four nightmares 2020 music pack was in the item shop four years ago in 2020 and never returned. It was actually only in the item shop once on October 31st, 2020, and since then we never saw it again that was actually the last spot in this video so if you enjoyed this you'll like the next one on screen now 